Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be adding a water body into our biome, something like this. We'll add some aquatic plants on top. Uh, it is perfectly editable with PCG as well. So you can see if I edit the spline. Let's add a new. Yeah, so you can see. It perfectly removes the grass and everything, adds more plants. Uh, so yeah, uh, be sure to watch the video. Let me know how you liked it in the comments and make sure to subscribe and enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we'll be adding a lake into our PCG landscape system. So if you are not following, do check out the previous video where we create this based on our landscape layers. So for now, I'm going to increase the scale of my PCG volume. Make some place for the lake. So that should be fine. We'll have the lake, let's say somewhere around here, this area. So, okay. Okay, let's start. So for this, uh, I'm enabling the water plugin. Be sure to check that out. Uh, do enable it. And in my landscape mode, I just paint this with forest a bit. We don't need this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So if you have enabled the water plugin, uh, you will be able to add a lake directly so let's do that uh, so what I want is a lake with some water lilies around it so we'll be using our PCG system directly so so it will create this spline actually this is too I think this is too big we don't want something this big so it will generate the material take some time so yeah so click on it uh, drag it drag it and just make it smaller so you can see the PCG will already react to it and since it creates it is doing that because it's lowering the landscape nothing else so if i increase the pcg scale it should so for example so this is not what we want uh, so and see the pcg scale is just a year if I increase that something like this, you can see it is growing on the water layer itself. Uh, actually, I'll keep it that way so that you guys know what you are doing. Okay, let's begin. So I will open up the PCG which we created last time. There you go. So from your transform points node i am going to do a get actor data and over here i am going to do actor filter to all world actors and i'll do a by class and just type in lake you'll find this water body lake you can do select multiple and also just tick must overlap self and that's all you need and here you can add a difference node so this is the source this is the difference and connect that here you can do the same thing in the bottom one as well the difference this is the source and connect that so now it should remove the forest layer 
let's check that out i'll do a save and you can see it has removed all the grass from there uh, there are some trees still uh, but that looks natural but we will remove them as well another thing you all want to notice if your water is too wavy compared to mine go inside the water material lake and here type in waves you can disable this so i don't need that make sure it's also good practice to duplicate the material uh, before making any changes since this is directly engine content so anyways it will take its time to save okay next is let's disable these trees as well if needed so let's see why it's not doing that trees might be from here actually i want to disable everything so i'll also plug it in here and over here okay that's If it's not disabling the trees, you can add a bounce modifier and that should increase the volume. Okay, let's continue. Next thing we want is add a few water lily and other types of elements in. So open up your, so I have these what aquatic plants which I'll be adding. So open up your PCG graph. Uh, so let's so next thing we want to do is do a get spline data so we need the spline of the lake hello same thing all world actors must overlap itself select multiple by class and just type lake there you go and do a spline sampler there you go and I want this to be interior. Okay, transform points node. And lastly, a static mesh corner. So I'll add two entries. So, first one, I'll just choose this plant. And for the second one, I'll just choose probably this so save that and if you'll see inside you won't be able to see uh, if you can't see just try a force region so I will generate yeah so now you can see so it is generating but it is way below the ground so what we'll do is I'll add in my transform points node let's add a offset so i'll add offset of 150 for now and yeah that's better that is way better so but there are just too many of them and it is quite uniform so we need to change that so in my what I'll do is I'll the interior rotation first of all I'll do follow curvature and lastly I'll increase my interior sampling space to something like 350 that's too less I guess 200 that should be fine and in my transform points node let's add some offset in your x as well so i'll do a minus 500 minus 250 500 and 250 so this will give it some more randomness let me see 
ya that you know so what you can do okay, it works here but doesn't work that so one thing you can do is inside your spline sampler node uh, I think that should be it for this tutorial uh, if you don't want the trees you can paint the ground layer inside we will won't find out that is another way to do that so something like that and add a few of these rocks outside. So yeah, I think I'll keep this itself. So yeah, you have this beautiful lake in front of you with the forest. So thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers soon. So then the next thing we can do is add some butterflies and other stuff into our bio. Do let me know in the comments what you want. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.